Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you a super easy method for breaking out content in a break speller. You're going to learn how to make the content break out on either side of the normal content flow, allowing it to reach the left or right edge of the viewport. What does it mean to make the content break out sideways? Well, I believe you already know how to set up a full width container that stretches across the entire available viewport width. That should be pretty straightforward. However, quite often, you might want the content to stretch only to the left or right side, while the opposite end preserves the normal content flow. So I have prepared an imaginary page consisting of several sections, all of which currently conform to what is called the normal content flow. If you look at the theme styles, we'll see that the section element has some padding on both sides. This padding is there to keep the content spaced out on small screen devices sidewise. Don't be confused by the CSS variables, I prefer using variables over numbers whenever or wherever possible, and I believe one of my upcoming videos will be about CSS variables in Bricks Builder. The next element is a container with a fixed width at 1440 pixels, meaning the content will never be wider than 4040 pixels, but it can be smaller if needed. With respect to the given layout, my plan is to make the slider break out on the right side of the content and then have the number section below break out on the opposite side, on the left side. As I mentioned before, the opposite sides of the breakout section should maintain the normal content flow. So let's just resume what I just said and figure out the math behind the problem. You're gonna need a little bit of math here. There's a section that is 100% wide. The section includes padding on both sides of the content. A container has a width of 1440 pixels and that's the width of our content. Our breakout content should start normally, but extend its width all the way to the right. The space between the section and container edges on, on the left and right is flexible and persists as long as the 100% width exceeds the value of 1440 pixels, otherwise it will be zero. So the number of pixels that our breakout content requires to reach the right side of the section is flexible and it must be calculated. Since we know the width of the content, our formula should be like this. 100% minus, open parenthesis, 100% minus 1440 pixels, close parenthesis, and then divide that by two. 100% minus 1440 pixels gives us the total available space on both sides of the container. However, we only need one half because the content should stretch toward the right-hand side only. That's why we divide it by two. The value that we got must be deducted from 100% once again. Let's now try to apply the calculation to the slider container. I'm going to use the CSS calc function to define the width. Let's see what happens. The container itself got widened, but it's still centered due to the left and right margins, which are by default in Bricks Builder set to auto. When I set the margin to zero, everything falls into place. I have to stress that whenever you set up breakout content, you need to do it on a container element, okay? Which should be the first child of the section element. This ensures that anything you place inside the container, be it a block element, div, slider, any other element, renders as a breakout content. Now that we have a formula, we can easily apply it whenever we need it. I already mentioned that the number section below the slider should also break out, but on the left-hand side. And all it takes to achieve this is to use our formula on a container elements with property and then eliminate the left margin by setting it to zero. Finally, I want to show you what to do if you want to completely eliminate the section padding that is used to space out the content sideways. Let's say that the right side section padding is not needed with our slider element. In that case, I'll need to set the section padding to zero. By doing so, a gap is created on the opposite side because we have actually increased the section width. Now the slider looks misaligned and we must take that into account. So if you want the slider to stretch from edge to edge, you can simply set the left side section padding to zero as well. But if you wish to keep the section padding on the left, our formula needs to be adjusted. Right before the closing parenthesis, I'm gonna add one half of the section padding value which in our case, in my case, is var space m divided by two. And if you have used pixels or any other units, just replace my CSS variable with whatever you have set and then divide by two. And that's it, people. This is all it takes to create breakout content in Bricks Builder. If you like the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up.
If you didn't, let me know why and just put it in the comments below. Other than that, peace and love.